tomorrow going to work for the first time with the new trailer had a 7 by 14 uh, with 6 foot 3 interior height before this is a 20 foot V nose so it's 22 in the nose uh, 7 foot tall 8 and a half wide trailer we just finished with the build and this is what we ended up with we wanted to go with something that would allow us to just get to work when we got there all we have to do is drop a drop cord out no air compressor needed all our nail guns and drills and everything are battery powered um, so all we needed power for was battery chargers and chop saw and table saw we do kitchen and bath remodels and uh, this suits our needs very well right now there's a cooktop in the highway gonna get installed tomorrow but this is what we went with Bosch 12 inch saw and we've got the wrong talk style dividers all through here so you can see the batteries routers drills extra charger multi-tool drills and we've got a shelf for storage for long levels a couple knee pads all of our fasteners and these drawers here most common when the used ones Room to grow, as we pretty well maxed out the 7x14. Ended up putting in this pantry style shelf here on the back of this cabinet to hold some of the cleaning items and different things we use regularly. Trash cans, walk boards, DeWalt tables, and then a shelf unit that holds all our drop cloths and other miscellaneous uh, stock that rotates in and out of the trailer um, And back here we decided to store our ladders and the trash buckets that we use um, And then here on the bottom We've got crates and totes full of p-trap parts and there's a fan right there. And our nail bags rags quick set mud paint other nails under there and the drawers you know there this is all finished stuff router bits uh, cabinet door bumpers hand planes chisels this is all our stain sand and supplies PPE drawer. Tile. Spacers. Miscellaneous items. Drywall. And this is going to be expanded soon. We're going to get a full tool kit to go in here. That's a cheapo uh, tool kit that I've had floating around for years very limited drill bits hole saws uh, we got the dividers at Harbor Freight very reasonable I think they were $6.99 a piece maybe electrical different things we need and use quite often floor items and movers and vac attachments and the drawer and the, and the trailer is based off of Ron Paul's design uh, these are all metal tools and clamps empty Here we give all our bits and tips and we need to go through we haven't done it yet but we're going to finally separate all of these guys all the bits that have accumulated over the years and keep our 
uh, vacuums under there. Large demo tools, hammers. Small demo tools, things we reach for quite often. That's why it's located near the door. And then measuring, marking, and a layout. Got plumbing first aid up here. All glue and pipe dope and everything else we use. This is paint sprayer attachments and paint sprayer and then obviously the masker, hand masker by 3M. This is paint drawer, paint tray, screens. Paint brushes, gold frames, all caulk, even the big tubes of caulk in this one drawer, all in one spot. And the bags, we use these bags. You know, that's what we take our tools in with every, each, each and every day because it's different as we get to different phases of the job. Keep our tapes hung up here on the wall. Um, Cords back there, spare tire, brooms, and the shelving unit there is angled so that things do not slide out. Keep the tracks in the ceiling, and then the charger station right there. I'd like to get a Milwaukee six pack charger in the near future, but in the meantime, the separate ones are working just fine. Um, couldn't have done this without. Uh, fellow that works with me john poston and all the inspiration i picked up from youtube ron Polk, um pinterest i mean countless hours just watching uh what other guys have done and uh you know taking those ideals and making them my own and um so grateful for the youtube community thanks <laughs>